Hello everyone, this is the first of several videos designed to get you started with PlugBot. PlugBot is a research project developed by Red Team Security and is used in all of our Red Team operations. It's used to establish remote network persistence, conduct advanced pivoting and exploitation, among other things. Please see our website for more information. The environment we're using today is a mix of uh, a Raspberry Pi 3 loaded with Raspi and Jesse with Pixel. This example uh, also assumes that the operating system has already been installed on the Pi as well. So moving on to our system, let's first of all we want to SSH into the Pi. Once we're logged in, first thing we want to do is run an apt get update. Once that's completed, we need to make some changes to the Apache web server. So we'll navigate into the Etsy Apache 2 directory, look for a folder called sites-enabled, change into that directory, we'll see a configuration file, and then what we'll want to do is make a few changes to that particular conf file. First of all, I want to arrow down to the document root, erase the HTML slash, go down and make a new directive, called directory and assign it to forward slash var dub dub dub. Add a new line, options space indexes space follow sim links space multi views. Add a new line, order space allow comma deny new line allow for from all, excuse me, and then Finally, close up that particular directory tag. Save. Now we're going to want to enable an Apache 2 mod. So we'll type an A2N mod, rewrite. Once that's done, we're going to restart the Apache 2 service. Okay, now that Apache has been restarted, we're going to want to load our SQL file into our database. The SQL file comes packaged in a zip file within the GitHub uh, code. And right now we're just going to use phpMyAdmin to log into that. And uh, once we're logged in, we're going to create a database, a brand new database called uh, db underscore plugbot underscore client and click on create. Now that that's done, we're just going to go ahead and click on the database and click on import and import that particular file. It files on my desktop, so I'm just going to go ahead and select it now. Here it's somewhere. Here we go. DB underscore plug button underscore client dot SQL. Again, it's included within the um, the code that's on GitHub. Let's go ahead and click go. Now that our data has been imported into our database, I'm going to go ahead and navigate to the front page of the bot configuration site. And we get there by going to the IP address slash index.php slash home slash setup. And now we're presented with the login page for the bot. And this is what we use to configure the bot settings. Go ahead and click log, log in. And here we have the initial setup screen. Uh, please stay tuned for the next episode where we'll cover a bit more in depth on how to connect the bot to the command and control. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.